everybody, it's Austin Ward for Letterman Row, back with another Buckeye Q, former Ohio State offensive lineman, NFL lineman, maybe even future Arena League <laughs> lineman, Reed Fragel, in the building. I was wondering if you guys would go there. Yeah, who knows what will happen there. I mean, I want to see you back on the field, but anyway, hey, who knows? he's breaking it. He's back with us, Ohio State signing class, adding some beef to that <laughs> offensive line, which was a huge priority. They went all the way to Hawaii to do it, Reed. Enoch Vimahi, yeah. uh, uh, four-star guard. Um, that's a long way to go from home, so there must be a reason that they're going to get this guy. Yeah, they're uh, they're reaching all lengths of the country here, and I like that. Um, I did. I was impressed with this film. I think he's fundamentally sound out in open space. Uh, he's in complete control of his body. I think he the way he finishes these plays is what stuck out to me, and it's something that's similar to I did in high school. You can't really get away with the, the college level of the corkscrew block. <laughs> it's the finishing move at the end of a play where you yeah. kind of twist the guy into the ground. And it's called at the college level, but they kind of don't call it the high school level for whatever reason. Yeah, we've we've seen that a few of these times on tape now, where it's yeah. like you you're really jealous that you, you had to stop doing exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was something that you could get away with at the high school level, like I said. But for whatever reason, college they start calling that. He looks like a guy Reed that's probably going to stick there on the interior at guard. Maybe that's a little bit easier. That's a spot where Ohio State's going to have a lot of competition. He's not going to be around in the spring, but in training camp, is it easy enough? Is it easier? I guess I should say. From my perspective, it would be a guard than tackle. But what do you think are, are the odds that he could maybe you know help right away? Yeah, well, you see guys that um, I mean, I always bring up Michael Jordan, but <laughs> you got to be able to play anything and everything. So um, I think he'll definitely have the staff. Uh, they're gonna do a phenomenal job of developing him, and he's already at the level to where I think he could go outside if he needs to. Uh, but we'll see how he fits in the pieces. Enoch Viamami, Viamahi. Uh, I'm gonna learn how to say it so much better. <laughs> I'm like, glad you tried it on me. It's a new one for me. He's signed now, so I'm going to have to get it down because we're going to be talking about him a lot more. Reed's going to break down the high school tape uh, right now. So let's go ahead and roll the tape. All right, Reed. So playing out here in Hawaii, going out to the promised land to find a guy. You know, Enoch Vimahi, he's going to project most likely at guard for Ohio State, but sometimes you just throw your best player out there at tackle at this level, right? Yeah, I think that's what you find a lot more often than not is no matter where they're playing at the college level, if they were the best lineman, they're probably playing left tackle. So we'll still try to learn some stuff here. Even uh, It'll translate the same. Reed can watch the, the hip, the drive, the punch, all those things that he's so good at, at catching on these videos and, and see what kind of prospect Ohio State's getting. Uh, you know, again, we don't know exactly the level of competition, and sometimes you're going to see uh, yeah. guys completely overmatched against Vamahi. Yeah, you kind of got to sort the, the talent level out he's playing against and just look at his delivery of punch, like technique. Uh, his timing is really big, I think, is something that sticks out, you kind of just disregard the guy across from him to see how he executes with the body presence of the defender across from him. You've talked about this with other guys and just, you know, the balance and the way you move. I mean, it, mm. being a big guy, I can't really, you know, relate to what you, the process that you go through, but you've seen just the, the way somebody moves on the field tells you a lot. Yeah, I think a guy out in open space can tell you a tremendous amount about their athletic ability because as linemen, we're not supposed to be comfortable out there. So <laughs> it's kind of one of those things like, what do you do when, in an uncomfortable situation? How do you react? And to see that in a play um, at high school level or college level, even pros, I mean, no matter what level it may be, um, how a person reacts in open space, second level, I think can tell you a lot about their athletic ability. And even if you're going to win some of these matchups, and obviously this is a highlight reel, right. Enoch Vamahi is going to win a lot of them. I know that you pay <laughs> attention to the finish, yeah. the effort. And, you know, even if you win, sometimes it's the way you win that matters. Yeah, and like I said before, the corkscrew block, which we might see on film here, we might <laughs> not, um, that's my favorite block, and that's something that I love to do in high school. And it's something you can get away with at this level. And if, if you do it, I don't know, it's just, I like it because it shows a little bit of nastiness, a little bit of finishing, which is important, I think, at the high school level. Because a lot of times you can dominate these guys because 90% of the kids probably aren't going to be playing uh, right. college football. So how do you do... How do you handle that? Do you just kind of say, okay, I'm good enough, I can get this done, uh, I can coast? Or do you just use it as a platform to kind of showcase and uh, put on a display your nastiness and your love for the game, so to speak? And you said something that's uh, that's interesting and important here because we're, what we're looking at with Mahi, that if you're the best lineman, you're going to be at left tackle in high school. Is that a big deal that ev you know everybody plays out there and then you shift? Or is it important that he you know, knows that position? That. Does, that, does that make a big difference? Well, I mean, as we've said before many times, I think you have to come into Ohio State being prepared to play, you know, tackle through center. Yeah. Um, so to be out there getting reps at this at the high school level, you know, maybe it does translate to the college level where he's needed at left tackle. God forbid somebody goes down an injury, he's ready to do it off this experience. But um, I think it will be easier for him moving inside at the college level to learn guard versus um, staying at tackle, learning tackle at his size right now. 
What do you think is, what's the biggest challenge between those two? I'd say just on the edge, the speed is really, it's tremendously different at the high school level. Um, as the a game as a whole, the speed is different, but on the edge in particular, the defensive ends are getting that jump, they're timing their, their snaps up, or their, um, their jumps up at the snap, um, and that's something that's hard to find at the high school level. These guys are kind of, they're more of a reactive defensive end than a um, proactive defensive end, so that would be something I think that would he, I'm not saying he would struggle with, but right out the gates uh, with his size, it would be difficult, whereas interior three, you kind of have a chance to block a guy in a hallway, so to speak, yeah. versus out there on an island. What's the best thing you've seen on here? Honestly, I like his, his use of his hands, which is something that um, isn't too common among guys. Like, they're at second level. He's firing his hands great. Um, just that guy enough, wanted no part of that. No part. He was running away, I think, <laughs> before he got contact. But um, you'll see his hands, his hand placement, like right there. He's getting the guy inside out. Little things like that that um, might not seem like a big thing, but if you have those fundamentals going into the college level it's a tremendous leap forward amongst guys that um, you have to kind of coach up that are raw going into it um, so just to be able to have that knowledge that um, awareness of hand placement is huge so enoch bimahi mm -hmm. i'm going to keep practicing that over and over until <laughs> he uh, officially arrives from hawaii to join ohio state we're going to get reed working on it too he's been trying to avoid saying it i know that but uh, he, <laughs> one of these times i'll give it a shot <laughs> he'll go down there uh, he'll be breaking him down throughout his career, maybe going on and uh, helping him work out in the Woody. Who knows what's next for that. Uh, but definitely helping us out at Letterman Row uh, with Buck IQ. We appreciate having Reed Frago in the building. Uh, to look at the newest uh, addition for Ohio State on the offensive line, maybe somebody who can provide some depth uh, right away when he gets over here to the mainland. So for Reed, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time. Letterman Row, Buck IQ.